All right, I got a few requests for Frank Ocean, um, Thinking About You. This is a really cool song, and it's kind of hard. Like, I was trying to think of the easiest way to teach this um, with open chords, but it just didn't sound good because it's actually like a keyboard. So I found a really good chord chart someone made um, that has all the correct chords, but the hard part is going to be, like, which chords to use. So I think doing it with bar chords sounds way better, and if you're a beginner looking to get better at bar chords and learn some um, minor and major seven chords, this is a perfect song to do it. So let me just, like, I'll play a bit, and then I'll stop and explain how to play the chords. I think that's the easiest way to learn stuff like this. So make sure first you pull up this chord chart. And it's going to start right here on F major 7. And it's real mellow, you just do one strum of each. So it's going to go F major 7. Also, I'll put a link to the video. D minor 7, E minor 7, A minor. So that's the first So that's the first part. We do this a bunch of times through the song. So F major 7 is um put your first finger on 8, your third finger on 10, so 8 starting on the A string. And put your middle finger on 9, your pinky on 10, so it makes this triangle shape, and then you bar up to there and you just do one strum. That's F major 7. So sometimes the way I teach my students this is if you know a power chord, move your pinky up one string from where it would be, put your middle finger in there in between, and then just bar. So if any of these chords are hard, just leave a comment and I can like do another lesson on some tricks for learning these. So F major 7 on the A string, the 8th fret. One more time, it's 8, because this shows up a lot. 8, 10, 9, 10, 8. And you slide down to the 5th fret, slide your 1st finger down, and we need to do D minor 7. So if you know a minor bar chord, just lift your pinky up and push really hard. If you don't know this, what you do is 5, right there, ring finger on 7, middle finger on 6 on the B string. So the shape is like that. And right here I'm barring this one, and then barring up to the top. So it should sound like... So that's D minor 7, 5th fret, and then you slide it over to E minor 7 on 7th fret. And then the next chord we need is A minor. You can go to 5th fret right here on the low string, make a power chord, so 5, 7, 7, and push really hard because it needs to bar up to the top. One trick is you can take this finger and lay it on top of this first finger, and go like that. So, so far I have F major 7. D minor 7, E minor 7, A minor. One trick is make sure, like, sometimes people go like this. See how bad that sounds? It actually sounds fine right there. So what was going wrong there is I wasn't muting this. So with the tip of your finger, make sure it's touching so that when you strum, in case you hit this, it won't sound bad. You don't want to hit it, but it, it will happen, so. So I just hit it, it didn't sound bad. This one doesn't matter, it's using all the strings. So one more time, F major 7, G minor 7, E minor 7, A minor. And you do that three times. And then, if you glance at the chart, after we do that three times, there's going to be an A7 chord. So let me keep going, and then I'll stop when it gets there. E minor 7, E minor 7, A7, F major 7, <laughs> it's pretty trippy. Um, so look at the paragraph that starts when I'm thinking about you, and then it goes into, um, you'll see an A7 chord. 
So we're going to need this. F major 7, G minor 7, E minor 7, but then you need A7, not A minor. So go down here like you're going to do A minor, but we need, pretend you're going to do a major chord if you know that, but lift your pinky up. So it should be 5, 7, 5, 6 with your middle finger, 5, 5. So pinky lifts up. If you listen to it, it's definitely right. Whoever did this chord chart did an awesome job. And then after the A7 chord, which is in the middle of that paragraph, then we go F major 7, E minor 7, G minor. So we already knew those two chords. G minor, you pretend you're going to do like A minor, but go to 3rd fret. So 3, 5, 5, 3, 3, 3. And then we need an F chord. I would go up to here. Um, let me play that part, because when I was playing along, I just, I didn't play F major. When I've been playing the song, I've just changed that F major to F major 7, because I thought that's what it sounded like, but let me see. A7, F major 7, E minor 7. So, I just, I actually ignore the F majors in this song and just play F major 7. So you could play that, but if you really want F major, it's almost the same. But you got a bar like this. Getting all the way down here would cause some problems. So, 8, 10, 10, 10, and then 8. But again, you can just do this chord we've been practicing instead of F major. That's the only change I would make to this chart. But F, if you really want F major, you do it like this. So 8, 10, 10, 10, 8. Then after that, we're going to go um, F major 7, C major, we're going to go right here. So this is 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8. This is a major bar chord, C major. So 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8. And then we need G major. We'll go down here, the same shape. So 3, 5, 5, 4, 3, 3, and then up to A minor, which you've already seen. So let me just kind of play along so you can see this. Oops, let me go back a tiny bit. So here it comes. So do you think so far? C major, G, A minor. And F major 7, C, G major, A minor. So you do that a couple times. Um, then the only other thing that's in the song that might throw you off is if you scroll down to the next paragraph, you see where he says, got a fighter jet. It says B flat major. So that's the only other chord that we haven't seen so far. So let me get to that part. Um, I'll just keep going and then call it out. I think that would be easiest. So right now I'm on No, I Didn't Like You. D minor 7, E minor 7, Beach House, oh, Idaho, <laughs> E minor 7, B flat, A minor. So I don't think we saw that yet. So that paragraph where it's got Beach House, Idaho, all that, it's got F major 7, G minor 7, E minor 7, A minor, and then you go up to F major 7, E minor 7, B flat major is the same major shape we've been using, but you do it on 6th fret. So 6, 8, 8, 7, 6, 6. And then to A minor. And the rest of the song is all repeat stuff.
Yep. So let me real quick recap all the chords. F major 7. 8, 10, 9, 10, 8. You got a D minor 7 in there. 5, 7, 5, 6, 5. Those both were on the A string. E minor 7 was the same shape up here. That was 7, 9, 7, 8, 7. Make sure you mute there. We had an A minor a bunch of times. So it's 5, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5. We had a G minor at one point. It's the same shape as that, but it's down here. 3, 5, 5, 3, 3, 3. And again, you can put that finger on top. Then we had at one point an F major that was optional. 8, 10, 10, 10. This is kind of a tricky one. And you can even bar the top note. But again, I just play like this. I think it sounds fine. Just to kind of keep that mood going with the F major 7. Then we had a couple major chords. We had C major, which is down here. 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8. And we had a G major. So 3, 5, 5, 4, 3, 3. We had a B flat major, same shape. 6, 8, 8, 7, 6, 6. And at one point early on we had A7, which is almost like you can do A major, but you lift this pinky up. So 5, 7, 5, 6, 5, 5. I think that's it. I think that's all the chords. Make sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, that's it. So if anyone has any questions about this, this would be a hard song. Like, for most of my students, I would have to probably, I mean, for intermediate players that know bar chords, this is pretty easy, but for beginners, this is a hard one. But this is like the perfect song to learn these types of chords, because these are standard, like, these major sevens are standard, all these minor sevens are super common, and these are super common. There's nothing unusual in the song, it's just more intermediate stuff. So if anyone has any questions, just leave a comment and I could do like some exercises on how to play these chords. Um, that's it. So I hope that was helpful. Okay, bye.